While you do that, I'm gonna. Oh my God, you're kidding! You know, in case there's chemical warfare. <coughs> Welcome back to Two Girls One Bong, the podcast that is better when you're stoned, but it's okay if you're not. My name is Mac Dizzle, and I'm Joya. Let's and, dive uh, on in. Let's dive on in. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about Doomsday, but before we dive into Doomsday, a uh, quick little apology for last week's podcast. We're still learning. Um, Joya's house is haunted, and the ghosts messed with the wires but and made it so that we couldn't see her. They only, they, they, they're not mean. They just... It's a little mean. It was more, I feel like they were just trying to mess with me, you know? They're in a, like a friendly, <laughs> a friendly way. It yeah. wasn't violent. No. Okay, but we're either way, we're working through some technical difficulties, and we really appreciate you guys coming back and sticking with us. Heck yeah, we do. Heck yeah, we do. Um, I'm again, again, gonna apologize for something else for my low quality camera today. It's a long story. We're not gonna get into it. <laughs> but let's talk about that pink room behind you. Oh my god, this pink room. If you're not watching this on the WeTube. I don't know why. Okay, oh, wow. Okay. But know that I'm living in a pink fantasy of a room right now. Yes. Full pink and fantasy. it's very and sexy. My bowl piece is a cobra. Sick. So, oh, my God. I didn't even notice that before. I'm glad you said something. That's amazing. Yeah. Is there wow. anything new happening with you? Um, I'm bringing my bong up to the table, if that That's counts. That's pretty new. Nice, <laughs> it was just nice. quite literally very new um let's see well we had adam's mom in town for the weekend this weekend that was really fun adam's mom aka my future mother-in-law so um i did some fun stuff nice <laughs> that was really beautiful i need you to know this also is very beautiful <laughs> Um, and for those of you who don't know, Adam is Joy's boyfriend. Yes, he is. He is that for me. So that's been Baby fun. Baby daddy. Baby daddy. daddy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what I was doing all weekend. It was really fun. We went to this place called Wonder Spaces that allows you to have like different exhibits that are, some of them are interactive. Some of them you just look at um so it was pretty cool and and we went into a million some odd millions of years old cavern underneath the ground it was really oh. cool yeah it's like uh they think, say that again you think people walked in that cavern a million years ago no i mean i don't <laughs> think so i don't know i guess it, that's that's yeah I don't know. The land probably looked very. How do they know it's a million years old? Is it everything a million years old? Like yeah, no outside. Could be. Well, sediment. They can tell in the layers of the sediment, like how old things are. So what I'm saying, California, million years old, right? Millions, yeah. So I've been here. It's not that cool, Roya, going to your little crevice. Millions. Stop flexing on people. <laughs> You're flexing that she went somewhere a million years old. Welcome to planet Earth. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my ass. It's all underneath the ground. They, they, there's, it's all, it was all formed from like water. So there's like some parts that are like, they have like these dripping, like, but they're not actually dripping. They're like hard and they like drip down from the ceiling and water did the whole thing. And they have one spot where they allow you to touch it. It's called the temptation rock. What? It's I'm switching my Wi-Fi really quick. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm not on the right Wi-Fi. Yeah, I went into a multi-million-year-old cavern this weekend. I love that. For what you. did you do this weekend? I didn't do shit. I made this room pink. <gasps> That's definitely yeah. something. That's basically been my life's work for the last yeah. three weeks. Is just making this room as pink as possible. Did I do it's anything showing. fun? No, I got drunk yesterday. I'm going to get nice. drunk again today and go to Target. <gasps> Target is so fun. I love Target. Except I'm going to be wasted. It's going to be dope. 
Oh my god, wait, that sounds like such a good time. Yeah, basically Disneyland. Literally. For adults. Disneyland, but cheaper. <coughs> and you don't have to wait in lines. We love that. Today, without burps, we're talking about the apocalypse, the end of days. Um, our lovely producers are going to be sending us some prompts of different ways that the world could end. Because there are lots of different ways. I have been watching... If there's anything I've learned from doomsday preppers, it's people are very creative with how we're going to die. <laughs> okay. I've learned a lot watching these paranoid humans and I am also now paranoid. Um, but yeah, they're going to be sending us prompts. We're going to be talking through them and figuring out what we would do in that scenario before we dive in there. Is it okay? Um, if I show you this survival kit that I bought on Amazon. Yes. I feel like it's just like, you know, I went on, I went on Amazon. I bought a couple things. Oh I'm my just god. Disappear off camera for a moment. Yes, she's disappeared. We don't know where she is. While you do that, I'm gonna Oh my god, you're kidding. So Oh my god, you're kidding. You know, in case there's chemical warfare, I now have a Halloween mask. Oh my god. Does it actually function as a real mask? But, oh, so it's not particularly. No, it's not, mask. No, oh. it's, not useful. it's not useful, but like imagine the, the apocalypse happens and I'm wearing this mask. You're like, oh my God. Dude, fuck yeah. She's prepared. For, yes. Bring, bring her into our group. Absolutely. You know? I'm like, oh my oh. God. That is like, <laughs> wow. I got me spending I... like $40 for one reveal. That's, that was $40? I bet the real one is like, oh my God. How much do you think a real one of those would cost? Several hundred dollars. How much does one of a real one of those cost? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't look at real math. Hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. All right. Okay. This, um, uh, this survival kit. Let's see what's in it. I got the camo one. They had other colors, but camo felt appropriate and right. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know that you can't camo is invisible you can't see it oh yeah so, so. If, if i so apocalypse happens i'm only wearing camo i'm not wearing anything yeah. else ever again <laughs> only camo i don't care if i'm in a snowstorm i am wearing <laughs> traditional camo it just makes sense it's just, it's just it the tactical right. fashion all right so i don't know what's in this survival bag i just bought it um i don't even know how to open it properly Okay. All right. So we got a compass. First things first, we got a compass. The fuck is that going to help me with? I. <laughs> well, when I you don't know? have GPS anymore. Okay. Yeah. But guess what? Going north? I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Wait. So you're saying you don't know how to use a compass? I know that it points an endur- it points north. So <laughs> you can like be like, oh, well, we'll go west. But where the fuck does West go? I don't know. When you're in the well, middle of Missouri, the fuck does West go? Missouri. North mean? Right. How do you even Oop. open it? It's an unopenable compass. <laughs> Not a an poncho, unopenable. Because a poncho, I mean, I guess, fine. Is, is it going to protect you from the end of the world? No. It's a foldable, it's a Swiss Army fork spoon. You're kidding. <laughs> Wow. Wow. You can also make a really handy like instrument. Yeah. No, I wanted it. I wanted to make here some clanging. There was none. <laughs> oh, there was no clanging. There definitely oh, but wait, wasn't. Also, it, oh, there's more in the Swiss Army <gasps> spoon. Is there it a has knife, a knife maybe? Wonderful. Yeah. That's a bottle opener as well. Wow. So honestly, not a not a bad. I might keep this in my purse. Yeah. The pork, the pork in the spoon. <laughs> we have some string. Wick? Oh, string. This it's like a small rope. Trying. Yeah, it's like a, a small rope. A first okay. aid my, kit. My brain, I'm like, hemp whip. Or hemp whip. <laughs> weed? They gave you weed? <laughs> the fuck is this? Is this a pen? Oh, you can break windows with this. Oh, I've seen those before. Yeah. I had, a, I had a, a something similar to that that I had on my keys. And I got it taken away. Oh, it's a real pen as well. Wow. It's a pen and a weapon. And a window breaker. That's amazing. 
What the fuck is this? More eating utensils? Uh, it looks like a compass for your wrist. But it's ah. Small. Oh, that's good. That is a, that's a, a bracelet that you can untie and it's really strong rope in there. And it also has the compass on it. Oh, that's smart. This oh. is a flashlight with no batteries. <laughs> of course they can't give you batteries. No, why would they like, you need those? to figure that out. Oh. And you know what? I saw, what else? What is that? An emergency rescue blanket and some gloves, rubber. An emergency rescue blanket? Yeah. It's kind of small to be a blanket. It's like one of those like space tinfoil blankets. Oh. And then some uh. gauze pads. Oh. oh no, it's a triangular triangular bandage so I can sling my arm. Oh, you know what? It's like an arm. this first aid kit. I don't want this. You know what I do want? What? A laminated survival guide. Yeah. A yeah. laminated Information, survival guide. Knowledge is power. It's knowledge more powerful is powerful than that little piece of rope. I, I completely I'll agree. Both, I guess, but Yeah. But no, uh, what the fuck is that little piece of rope going to do for you? Especially if you don't know how to tie like real good knots. Yeah. What the fuck is this even for? What is this? Open it up. Oh, I think you can let, you can like put like a, I don't, I don't know what this is. It has a circle, a metal like circle. Maybe on the you end can of like it? put a water bottle and like have it hang off your. Possibly. It's possible. I hate it. Whatever it is, I hate it. It's useless. Well, and when I was watching something about doomsday preppers, there was a guy who makes like these amazing, like real freaking first aid kits, like survival kits. And they were like the guy, the one of the producer guys pulled up with something similar to that. That's like this big. And there's like, you know, a few things in there. And they were all like, (laughs) you will not survive. You are wildly underprepared. (laughs) So. <laughs> if they came to my house and they like gave me the preparedness thing, it'd be you are the first then, to die. Yeah, negative. You are the first negative. to die. Um, well, I think we can take a wee little break. And when we come back, we're gonna dive into the first scenario. Oh yeah. So first scenario. Get into it. Okay, oh. and we are biggity biggity back. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. We do have our, do we have our first prompt? We don't have our first prompt. I think we but do we- have our first topic. Oh, here what? it is. Let's see what it is. It is zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. So basically oh. the world has ended because COVID vaccine has gone bad. And half the population <laughs> is now a zombie. And guess what? It's not the ones who got vaccinated. It's the ones who didn't. <laughs> They released a chemical into the air to make the, all the unvaccinated people zombies. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Some people probably do believe that. But the zombie apocalypse thing has been going around for God knows how long. Yeah, and there so actually... I think there's a million ways it could happen. I know. Yeah, there definitely is. Especially because it, it works with the human body to... If COVID taught us anything, it's that this planet is wildly underprepared for lethal warfare via disease yes <laughs> you're not absolutely prepared. absolutely we were just talking about that actually yesterday about how we realized covid helped us all realize how absolutely disgusting we were all living <laughs> how people are always on top of each other and yeah. touching everything and to them uh, touching our mouths anyway we would be this. fucked let me just give a little asmr for the people oh yeah please do nice we loved that it's a white. love that oh, noise i forgot to sauce my claw Oh shoot! What are you doing? The claw. Uh, 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 too um, too too preoccupied with zombie talk. Yeah. So zombies. So, uh, well, how do you think you? Okay. So it's day one of the zombie apocalypse. What What are your plans for the day? Well, um, I am going to stay as quiet as possible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because well, but also it's like there's different types of zombies. Zombie. I'm, you know, thinking theories? Day, I'm thinking 28 days later zombies they are athletic they have they they all they do is jog because they just they've been in the gym all right and I, they are, i've never seen that movie okay well let me tell you they are the fastest zombies you've ever seen they are all track stars something happened when they got bitten and their stamina it's unmatched they're all olympic track stars 
even by themselves, even all, all, like, cause you know how in a lot of them, if they get together as a group, they oh, get really no. fast. As a group? No, so yeah, by themselves, they're just <laughs> like not good form at all. It's zombie form, but it's amazingly fast. The so arms flailing I'm around. I'm picturing it's going to be a very, it's going to be a crazy zombie attack. I'm not thinking it's going to be one of the slow ones. Right. One of the easy zombie attacks. Yeah. So you're, you're starting your day very quietly I and mean, it's fast yes. zombie. So know that. I'm What's starting my day move? very quietly. I am only eating as much food as I need because I assume my stomach is about this big now. Rationing food and such. Okay. Okay. I am going to avoid going outside. But so are you? It's, it's it's so it's day one. Are you starting to like barricade oh. your house? What are you doing? No, like really, oh you need to God. really think about this. You're just talking about breakfast right now, sister. Nobody cares about <laughs> fucking breakfast. It's day one. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. All right, I'm waking up. I my neighbors across the street, Betty and Thomas. I don't know the real names. They're dead in the street. <gasps> And they're becoming alive now. And they're I'm walking, watching this they, they're getting up in front up. of my eyes. And my dogs are going crazy. Okay. They're going crazy. So first things first, I lock them in a room and I try my best to soundproof that room. Second thing, lock it. Well, I mean, first things I'm locking all the doors and windows and I'm starting to find any and all wood things that I can cover my windows with. Yes. I'm barricading this. Yeah. Um, I'm talking, I'm, I'm maybe checking on this neighbor over here. I'm seeing if he's still alive because he has an RV oh okay an RV, an rv is always an a1 tool in any zombie apocalypse he has an rv so if shit hits the fan the man is mobile okay yeah. so at move. the very least i'll steal his keys or like go with him okay? yeah next thing um i'm absolutely robbing the grocery store oh. i am robbing them I the whole like entire to, thing. I would like to create a meetup plan with my brother and I'd like to go to his house because he's got guns and he's also like 300 pounds of man. Yeah. And I think that's he's always a good, good to guy have. to have on your team, you know? Absolutely. Well, and I was going to say too, you have your Jeep, so that's great. That's the perfect car to have. It's but Wrangler, did you forget so. to put the top back on? The top is the is top on. on your... The top is not on. So it's a dangerous vehicle to be in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a dangerous vehicle to be in. Mm-hmm if I'm moving slow. Right, exactly, if you're going slow. But if you're not, those big ass tires can absolutely run over some fucking zombies. Okay. The whole bottom of your car in the front and the back would be covered in zombie blood. Well, and I'm okay with that. I don't take yeah. very good car, care of the car in general. I let my kids <laughs> sleep in there. I moved so, <laughs> the sidebar, I had, I had dog food on my patio and the raccoons started tearing it apart and eating it every night. So I was like, it's stupid raccoons. Put it in my car they just started the tearing fucking, it apart in my car with the top <laughs> off <Yeah. laughs> i didn't think they would know it was over there but yeah anyways that's really funny um yeah no so i'm i'm literally going to the the family's houses that i can find um i always keep a half tank of gas minimum in my cars both of them at all times they always have a half tank of gas so i know i can get at least 200 miles maybe 300 in in any direction at all times that's good because are you going? So you said you're going to, to meet with your brother. I, I'm at least trying to contact that man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at least tr trying to make contact with him. He has a baby, though, which is like. Oh, know, like, huge liability. Because dogs huge. at least serve a purpose. You know, they could at least right. warn you like, hey, zombies are fucking about to run up on you. Yes. Uh, bar, 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 totally. bar, bar, bar. You know, useful. Uh, yeah. Problematic, but useful. Dang, dude. I Yes. What what movie was that with Will Smith where he had the dog? I Am Legend. Uh, so I need you to rethink your first day. Start over. We're not worrying about okay. breakfast today. It's the first okay. day. Okay. Well, I'm also <laughs> barricading. <laughs> I'm also... Eat a little bit of food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm opening one small can of beans. <laughs> says, Maybe I'll put a little salt and pepper. <laughs> I have a little pudding from the night before. <laughs> <laughs> no, because at this point, I still have plenty of leftover food because it's the beginning of the apocalypse. It's the first so. day. Right. So I'm definitely also barricading my windows. I'm not checking on any neighbors. I know you said you're checking on neighbors. I'm not checking on any Just neighbors. One. Well, because here's the thing. Here's the thing that I'm thinking is if I can get all the not sick people in, in, on a team and yeah. like, figure it out, we're going to barricade right. this whole street. We're going to yeah. get cars up on the sides of the streets to make sure no new people yes. can come in. And we'll all protect each other for the yes. moment. And I'm sure you can find plenty of like barbed wire <laughs> 
like on fences in the I area or whatever. Beach. There's some sketchy stuff all over the place. There's definitely <laughs> there's definitely things you could do. So, okay, yes. I mean, I would love to be barricaded in my neighborhood. I don't know any of these fucking people. I know these people over here are okay. I don't know them either, but I'm still going to be like, look, I have- That guy's nice, though. That That one guy guy is nice. Yeah, he's nice. The guy with the RV. These people right here, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Their dog barks constantly, so I don't really want to- I don't want (laughs) to- You guys deal with your barking, your extremely barking dog. And they have a baby too, which is not, you can't have a baby in the zombie yeah. apocalypse. Barking and babies. It's too much. You're dead. Your dog's just sold you out. See, <laughs> as, I'm like, as I'm literally talking about these people having a barking dog, I'm dead. <clears throat> but definitely the windows, barricading the windows thing. I feel like that has to be like first freaking priority. I just don't know how we as humans have just become so okay with the flimsiness of windows to protect us from the world. Because guess what? If I was a murderer or like a robber or something, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to look at you. I'm not even going to check if your front door is locked. I don't care if you left it unlocked. I'm going through your fucking window. Yep. Every time. Yep. Totally. That's what that one guy, Richard Ramirez, or no, you know what? I think he actually did go through some front doors, but eventually he started going he through windows. He was like windows. the window guy. Yeah. He was, he was a, the walk-in killer is what they called him before the night stalker. You know what I was going to say too, with the whole zombie apocalypse thing, you know that, remember the people on bath salts in Florida? There was those they, cases they, they, of bath salts, like yes, in Florida. And he got shot like three, four times. And, and he like, was Arr! still living. Yes. There's people who believe, truly believe that those cases were zombie cases. And apparently, I was just watching something about this the other day. These people say that in the toxicology reports, the drugs didn't come up. So these people allegedly had no drugs in their system. I would like but to it, check when the it, car facts. I know, right? I know. I, I would like to know too. That's that. it. It showed the freaking thing, and there was nothing on there. But it also could very well be because like bath salts wasn't testable yet. It was like you know when it's like a lot of things fuck? don't remain in your body for that long. They get dissolved right. and things like that. You know, right? Actually, lots of stuff totally go away very quickly. But yeah, so, I don't know. So okay, riddle me this: Imagine we were together somehow yeah. in this zombie apocalypse. I fucking I hope so. Joined forces. One yeah. Of us turns into a zombie what are you doing i can tell you what i'm doing with you I'm, i can tell you very honestly what i'm doing with you i'm keeping you as a pet for a little bit <laughs> it's i don't want to do it but i love you so much i'm gonna have a hard time just getting through it so i'm gonna keep you as a gross little zombie pet for a minute just for a little bit how are you going to how are you going to restrain me because i I, you got to restrain me somehow i'll probably just tie you to a bed make it weird and sexual i don't know just weird stuff you'll be close if you're not watching with your eyes right now i am (laughs) i'm I'm tied to a bed i might just like you know like put a like a little collar on your neck like a dog you know it's it's something cute i would make it a cute (laughs) collar i would make it your color something to bring out your eyes thank you I do appreciate um, that. Yeah. Would you give me a name tag? No. Oh, okay. No name tag. No. No, I don't want Not that necessary, I guess. Right. <laughs> name tag with your name and number and address <laughs> on it. If you find your zombie. <laughs> don't kill her. <laughs> Bring her back to me. But eventually I would grow weary of the guilt and I would have to off you. So you, uh, I don't know how I'd do it. Would I shoot you or would I like stab you in the head? It could be a little more intimate if I just like, for people who aren't watching, I'm holding the back of Joya's head in my hand, like a sweet baby. And I'm looking into her eyes and she's going. And I'm taking my blade and I'm just (laughs) into her temple because now it's very soft because she's zombie brain. So. No, I think <laughs> I think you have to in order to kill a zombie. I think you have to get the spinal, Brainstem. yeah, no, the stem. No, I, that's no. how they did it in The Walking Dead. No, they, they, they that was their like for sure humane, like uh, definitive no, way like to. It goes right here. And it goes. Well, it's not so intimate that way. So I'm doing. You're getting stabbed in the forehead, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Well, you'll, thank you'll you go, so much. You go. And then it's, then it's over for you. Yeah. 
and then I would bury you in my backyard, and I would take like I would keep one of your bones. Oh, me. wait, one of my what? One of your bones, maybe like a finger. <laughs> oh, I mean, that was actually that. That's a, that's I I'm okay with that. So if we do ever come to that, I'm okay with that plan that you have. I have your blessing, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> if you were a zombie. I would have to keep you for at least a little bit. There's yeah, no way that I, bit, like there's no on. way that I could just do that. I could just murder you right I'm away. I'm gonna go through the stages of grief while you're still there. But you know what though? I think that you would be like, well, probably both of us. But realistically, I feel like you. If we figured out that you were gonna be a zombie, you would be like, Joya, kill me now. <laughs> if you were like. If you were like destined, like we knew you were going to become a zombie, you'd be like, fucking kill me. No, I'd be like, Joya, find me so much heroin. Find me so much heroin. And let's let, let me just go out in a blaze of glory trying heroin for the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good idea. It's a great idea. Let's but guess what? Let's... Here's my alternative plan to my day one. What? Day one. Instead of barricading, doing all these things, I go find a drug dealer and I do so many drugs and I die. All the different types of drugs. Yeah, I just go out on a really good feeling drug overdose. What if there were people who turned into different types of drugged zombies? So there's like heroin zombies, there's crack cocaine zombies, zombies. Oh there's God, meth imagine zombies. Cocaine, imagine meth and cocaine zombies. They move the fastest. <laughs> They're just like <laughs> just grinding their teeth. <laughs> the cocaine zombies are just missing half their nose. <laughs> <laughs> immediately oh, oh that's really funny <sighs> well okay that's i overall, don't ever want that I to happen overall i just i don't think i'm faring well in the zombie apocalypse i think i'll make it if at max i'll make it like six months and that's it because at six months i'm gonna just it's i'm gonna be so depressed that i'm just gonna walk into the street and go ah and wait for that <laughs> the scream I'm gonna be so oh, okay it. Let's let's get into the next one, shall we? Next one. Okay, Aqualus. Apocalypse, oh, apocalypse due to alien invasion. <gasps> I got lots of plans for this one. Dude, that might be the scariest, like craziest type of doomsday. I have a question. Okay. Are these aliens sexually attracted to female women? Because it's a good question. I am seducing the leader, becoming his right hand or hers, and um, I'm having zero mercy on the human race, and I will reign beside them with the the, the powerful fist. Oh, yeah. That is, like, I feel like the only option. Yeah, seduce the leader, become a dictator. Yeah. (laughs) Next subject. Seduce the leader. (laughs) Honestly, if the aliens invaded, I, nothing you do is good to prevent them from getting to you. I would imagine because if they could move from their planet to here, it's it's your house isn't gonna stop them. Exactly. There's literally nothing that we could do. That's what they they say that that is like so crazy and so scary and so like what the fuck that people wouldn't even be able to comprehend what's going on and they would die of shock. Well, here's the thing: day one, alien invasion going to the drug dealer getting some heroin (laughs) it's the only and i don't have a backup plan for that one that's just the plan well there there's literally nothing that we could do like and i'll like leave them a note and like i'll leave a bunch of dog food for the dogs and i'll be like good idea note for the aliens and be like these were good things please don't kill them them. treat them kindly and they will love you yeah forever you can take them that i could take them with them to space you can take them with you. Don't leave them here. Take them with you to your alien planet. Oh, imagine my little pups are the first little space doggies. Yeah. Like, yeah. We get here. We're like, alien invasion, I'm dead. But maybe they'll take my dogs. Dude, <laughs> we are not wouldn't... worthy. No, honestly. We're really not. But dogs? They. I wonder, like, because, you know, ev- we need oxygen Nitrogen. We We live in a mostly nitrogen-rich atmosphere. Our lungs need oxygen, but the dominance of our yeah nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah, yeah. Um, That would be nice if that's what our lungs could, you know. Maybe that's what the aliens 
that that's what i was gonna say is like do these aliens also need oxygen probably not do right what do they have what, stomachs do they poop what if they just poop like air like it's not what even if they a just fart. like their, their finger and it's just like glitter comes out yeah it's just like that's how ding. i poop Personally, that's been my experience for my entire life. So sorry to anybody who actually poops. Um, but I just, I, I simply don't. How do you think you're faring in the alien? Are you also, oh, I'm you so do drugs fucked. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so fucked. <laughs> I will absolutely do drugs with you. Literally, I honestly do think it's like a really good plan that no matter what the type of apocalypse is, like, let's just get fucked up on real die, yeah. drugs on yeah. real drugs we've never yes. done those before <laughs> right like real fucking drugs and i'm not yeah please don't do heroin you guys like oh if no the world isn't about to end if the yeah, world is not, gonna die i encourage you to just do it but yeah not, until not yet it's not just, until that day you gotta suffer every day alongside me if i have to stick through it so do you yeah period motherfuckers so what is our next, um, what's our next thingy? Our next uh, way that the world the, will fucking the, die. I'm reading it. It's, I have to burp. Hold on. Malthusian? Malthusian? I am working this mute button with the finesse. I need you to know there's been dogs barking. Me burping, me coughing. Look at you. No one That's amazing. Coughing. You are wonderful. Okay. Um, so Malthusian crisis. It's a prediction that our population will outpace agricultural production yes yes this is that's already happening this is super probable too i actually um i'm on team make this happen yeah i'm on team let's lower the population a little bit and if that means i don't get to live anymore i can i'll deal with that later i can live with that this bitch was gonna say i can live with that i was gonna say that that. i was gonna say that if that means i can't live anymore i can live with that no but yeah that just means that only the rich people will survive that's all that means i'm kind of rich i'm like no not to rich people Rich people no. are like, you're poor. We're literally so poor, comparatively speaking. That's insane. It is insane. That, so literally, it would be like on like surviving the agricultural disaster, whatever. Jeff Bezos. You know what? You know, here's Bill the Gates. thing. Not only, not only the rich would survive. That's not true. Why? Because I have my little laminated survival book, and I know what herbs I can eat, bitch. You're so right. You're so right. We can just survive off the bushes in front of I'm your house. Survive off the land. I'm gonna wear a loincloth. I will probably have something over my titties. I would like something supportive, honestly, because running yeah. around with your titties just out is not. You super can wear back. that sling that you have, oh, that triangle oh, sling. Yes, you can like wear a, that on like your a, titties. Like an ace bandage and just yeah. strap them down. And then I'll yep. <laughs> yeah. Run yeah. super fast. Then they, they would just be like, <laughs> just take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really good uh, that's that's actually g- seriously i feel like that that stuff. thing is already in motion literally so yeah i've been watching so i've watched some doomsday preppers and yeah. the one thing that i that people do is they like they really they hoard food, food. Mm-hmm. and it's um here's my issue food only lasts a couple years usually like well, canned food like, can last a really long that's time. Not true. I looked at maybe not all of it on my can. So yeah, it's very specific canned items that have a ton of preservatives uh-huh. that will last. But like regular canned food, I was looking at my labels; they expire in like a year, two years, which is a long time for a can of like for beans to stay right. good. But, but it's probably you probably have like another year on that until it's like toxic. Yeah, like until I would, it's like I would, really I would say not. that that's accurate. Um, yeah. I'm but trying. good to know when does, that when does baby formula go bad when does <clears throat> so-and-so like when do that's all why you go bad you can't have a baby no baby you can't have a fucking baby dude stop no. it was not time to repopulate the planet yet no <laughs> we're not we there can't have, stop having babies just in case there stop is now. a fucking malthusian crisis or malthusian but also i think um i could farm i could do that yeah absolutely Especially like where you live, if the world like, so, isn't like, you could definitely do it. What do me this? Someone comes into your house trying to rob you of your food and or land. What are you doing? Oh, I'm shooting them in the fucking face. Oh yeah, I'm murdering them. I might go for the dick because I assume it's a man and I want. Oh no no no! Straight to the head. 
No, in the, the dick, dick and the after, if you feel like it, it will bleed out in like eleven minutes, and I will watch it while I sip my tea. Is that how long the penis takes to bleed out? Bleed out. How long does it take to bleed out if you castrate a man? Ding. ding. There we go. How long would it take to bleed out after castration? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful things that I like to read about. <laughs> Honestly, though, so if it is there's good no efforts know. made to stop the bleeding, just continue here. Um, they're not giving me. Oh, this is Reddit. There's not going to be anything scientific here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to give it about 11 minutes. I think it'd probably go relatively fast. Also, there's a lot of blood yeah. in there. Yeah. If so. if you make it hard first <laughs> and then chop it off, all the blood in there reduce him. Up. Man yeah. murder. Boner than your castration. I just I brought you murder. Just like flashing a <laughs> while I shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man. Oh my god. That's so funny. If there's anything I want men who are listening this to this know, um, I don't hate all of you, but I do think you're weak. <laughs> I I don't. You were dating a man. You can't say that. Okay, well, he he rocks. <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't count. He doesn't count. I hate though. the rest of you. Even I you don't married. hate all the men. Just but I don't think all of you are weak. But I need you to know that much of your brethren, they are weak. Like 99%. The Lord made a dangling sack of sensitivity between your legs. Right. Weak. I, I've never been brought to my knees from a flick to my vagina. No. I've seen nope. many a man brought to their knees by one flick. Dude, there was a kid in my junior high who I think he got, I mean, I, I think he got kicked like pretty hard. I think it was actually kind of messed up, but one of his balls popped. He was in a wheelchair for the rest of the year. He was oh, in a wheelchair, wheelchair like couldn't walk. Oh my God. Let's not talk yeah. about genitals. Let's talk a little, a little uh, anti-trans inclusive. And I find myself doing that sometimes on accident. And so I just want to know. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry if I heard it was feeling. Just people with balls. People yeah. with penises. Penis I was mostly The thing is, I'm mostly talking penis about owners. cis. I'm talking about cis identifying cis straight men. That's yeah. That's mostly who I'm speaking to. Yep. Cis straight men are fucking weak. <laughs> Any other men, you're fine. I guess. What? We can't just make blanket statements like that. I love all about men. cis men. men. Yes, we can. I, men I, I, I don't awesome. Men I will. Just I'll make blanket really statements about cis men. I that is so. Any any of the others, you're fine. I'm not going to make blanket statements about you. I but. think the world is in a great place so far, and we're definitely not on the brink of agricultural disaster. We're opening it back in. Hey, you know who's <laughs> going to cause that? The people in charge currently, and I don't want to point any fingers at who's in charge right now but i'll tell you what they don't look like us no <laughs> they don't they really do not so we're fucked yeah figgity wonderful fucked. um i mean well because okay so realistically agricultural disaster happens there's not enough food yes the rich will survive but also the, the capable will survive i truly believe the capable will survive and i am a capable person <laughs> You know, fuck your yes. horse. Put the plow on me. I'll drag that bitch through the field. I got strong legs. I actually discovered You do have those. My legs are stronger what? than Rajul's entire upper body. That's pretty impressive. My legs are fucking strong. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's good stuff. Especially All to right. be stronger than Rajul's upper body. I know. Like, that's impressive. Next. So, yeah, Sorry. go ahead. Um, okay, the next scenario, Yosemite National Park super volcano, and that's near me. So I'm the first one to die. So I need You're you to know in this scenario, I die. Yeah, <laughs> I die. Okay, uh, imaginary scenario, the lava missed my house. The lava was like, Oh, <gasps> Ooh, I'll live. wait, I'll you live. are not in the zone julia you're in the safe zone too i am we're both in the safe zone yeah wow what a strange time when florida is as safe as you could possibly be it's disgusting it's not safe there i need you to know no that. it's really not it's like, what regardless of what natural disasters you're avoiding florida is still less safe yeah 
Oh my God. I thought Yellowstone. <laughs> whoa. That was crazy. Uh, I thought Yellowstone was in California for some I reason. Mean, I think that's Yosemite. Too. It's Yosemite, Yosemite that's in California. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, so, so there's a super gone. volcano there? There's yes. a, it's active? Well, so it hasn't gone off in a really long time. In a really long time. Um, and it, they basically, they've done like readings and, and, uh, and tests on it and they're like yeah whatever this bitch goes it's going to be devastating a we don't know when it's going to happen and b c we're way overdue mm-hmm. like way like they, they've tracked like how often it's gone off and this bitch is just sitting right now just like <laughs> am i gonna go i don't know <laughs> I don't, I she's might. letting us get fucked by all the other natural disasters a little bit first and then she's gonna hit us when we when we think we're okay so I'm not even in the secondary ash zone. So I feel pretty yeah. good about my chances. However, uh, if that that did happen, I think there would be significant earthquake and oh, things like that yeah. happening across the country. Um, and I know that places like in the Midwest and stuff don't have the infrastructure to deal with earthquakes. The reason is so yeah. California had a, we talked about this last podcast, a huge earthquake recently. Mm. every mostly everything was fine but if that same earthquake hits fucking texas yeah it's gonna be bad it's gonna be really bad because everything out there is built so different for like tornadoes and shit y'all have basements and well no we don't we know because it it rains a lot here oh wait so so there's not i mean i haven't been tornado city that has basements yes exactly tornado tornado alley Tornado we're, alley. we're on the outskirts or out, out, skorts, we're on the <laughs> outskirts of, of of hurricane alley which i think it's the same alley 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 but hurricane is the one in the the caribbean the gulf of mexico and did you have that whole sports growing up yeah fuck yeah i had i wore uniforms i broke my arm in a squirt wow that's pretty badass yeah. no it wasn't it was pretty awful but well, I, it was good. It was good because when I fell and broke my arm, my skirt flew up. So I had to oh, on see? Let's see. There you go. Girls should just start. I feel like skorts should be the norm. Skorts should absolutely be normalized skorts. Normalized skorts. But seriously. <laughs> that sounds like but squirting. Seriously. I'm scared. I love um like a like a dress with a little pair of shorts in there or mm-hmm. like whatever. Because guess what? Um, if you're what? wearing a skirt when the volcano call goes off, you're going to be aerodynamic as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so totally. It'll be easier for you to run without exposing your bits. Yeah, there you go. You don't get so do in so front of anybody. The volcano happens. I, I think I'm surviving that one. Truly. Well, the thing is, the thing about that is like, we don't know. Like The, the ash is... I assume the most devastating thing for the rest because a volcano, like no, the lava they, it does bad. rumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how far does that go? Pretty not far. that far. Did you not, see the not kill far zone enough to like hit you or state. me? Oh no! But the kill zone yeah. was a whole state. Yeah. So those guys are dead. But also, and I will say, like said, it's so probably, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's probably a lot of um agriculture in that area i think like i know the idaho potatoes are like the biggest producer of potatoes yeah yeah well no but we still got wisconsin there's plenty of cows in wisconsin so don't worry about the cows cows i'm more interested well then yeah yeah oh we got plenty of cows here too i can drive right down the street and find you a cow in less than five minutes oh my gosh you should see at my new house there is cows right by it like literally one two little turns but anyway i i i'm struggling to find the um what the after effects are going to be of a volcano like that other than the ash (laughs) because i know the ash goes it can go up into the ozone layer i mean i think it'll be pretty catastrophic there'll be some food shortages things like that yeah but, but what about the being... rest of the world? Like, okay, Idaho and Montana are gone. What about the rest of the world? The rest you of know? the world's like, oh my god, it's four o'clock. Did you want to go get something to eat? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's um, like, hello, hello. What happened over there? Yeah, is That's everything good. all right? The Americans always <laughs> fucking shit up anyway. All right. Yeah. 
Well, I'm down to take a little break real quick if you're down to yeah. take a little break real quick. I'm absolutely um, down to take a little break. Before we get to the next subject. Awesome possum. Sounds good. Cool. Taking a break. So we'll be we'll be right back, guys. And when we come back, what's the subject for when we come back? What's what's the next one? Oh, oh nuclear, nuclear holocaust. Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll be right back. Be our <sighs> You're welcome. That was oh, on. Oh. That was recorded too. So how much money do you owe them so far? Who? Oh, like $7, I think, probably. Mm. I don't know. No. Uh, you said five at the beginning of this, and only like two of them counted. Thank no. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. All right, so nuclear holocaust. We had a little issue with the word holocaust during the break we looked at the definition and it is accurate it means a mass slaughter of people so in a nuclear holocaust basically a nuclear bomb would massacre do just that one of people right so uh i'm assuming because i'm one on the coast i'm dead well they uh, people because i also saw this in a doomsday uh thing this guy was prepping for doomsday he says that he truly believes that there's two cities in the U.S. that are going to get bombed, not like might or he believes they will, and it's well, L.A. Also, and New York. These, these people are insanely paranoid. Oh yeah, and it's a religious thing for him. He's one of the religious ones, which most of them are pretty religious, because that's the way we were just talking about it last night. How that's the way you can kind of uh, expel logic, right? You don't have to think logically if it's about religion because innately religion is not logic. Yeah. Well, I also, what's crazy is like some of these people spend six to eight hours a day prepping. Yeah. That's their full time job is just prepping for something that they don't know is actually going to happen. Yeah. Like at this point, I don't, I'll prep a little. I'll prep a little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to spend all of your time. Yeah. Because like if it happens, it happens. And I'm probably going to die either way. Yeah. At nuclear some holocaust. fucking point. So okay, uh, okay. Nuclear holocaust. It hit New York. So the rest of the country has a shit ton of radiation and issues, though, because that's mm-hmm. what happens after a nuclear thing. So, mm-hmm. and you know dying. what I found out about? It's the it's the force like of something going through the air that literally creates thermal radiation. Like this? even if it wasn't, yeah, you you should be good. No, it's not going to help. No, no, no. I think it might. Even a real one. No. <laughs> Even a real one wouldn't do shit. You're right. I'm kind of honestly. cute right here. Yeah. Honestly. Look at my eyes. Oh, my God. Her. Look, like, so Very... imagine, imagine, like, we're in the Holocaust, like, the nuclear holocaust, right? And I run up to him and I'm just like. <sighs> I, I, I bat my eyelashes at you. I'm like, oh, my God. I would definitely <laughs> let you live, personally. <laughs> I would definitely let you live. I'd be like, she's good. But look at her eyelashes. She's gorgeous oh yeah i heard she almost lost them too and she didn't we need to keep those <laughs> genes going They're important uh yeah honestly though that would be so fucking terrifying because and, and this is what the guy out. said too is like there's two people pretty much in the world i mean a few maybe a handful but it's mostly like the u.s china and russia that have the most of all the nukes those the people that run those countries could just one day be like yep yeah i'm over at (laughs) yeah fuck everybody i'm so annoyed i'm so fucking annoyed honestly though i could totally see that from fucking vladimir putin he wakes up he's just like oh terrible day i'm so mad terrible day yeah (laughs) russell have you yeah, exactly. I was going to say, he used to wrestle bears. No, the man looks like he used to wrestle bears. Honestly, though. If, you okay, can very just much a tell. sidebar, sidebar. Imagine nuclear holocaust. Oh, my God, wait. 2020. Oh, yeah, the U.S. has so many. The Russia has Oh, more it's just the U.S. and Russia. Okay, so China's not even on that. Like, it's hardly not even Russian close. people, they're just out there, out there just building nukes, wrestling yeah. bears. Well, we've been like bodies. this... We've been just like this. What? You only need one. Oh, to kill a whole city. You only need one. Why yeah. do we have five thousand? For for what reason? So we want to make sure we kill the planet thirty times over. Right. Exactly. Like for what? 
That just makes no sense. How do we know what? Oh, it's an organization, armscontrol.org. I'm like, how do we know that these are actually real? But <laughs> I don't see myself surviving this one. So if I got the nuclear warning, I would go find a drug dealer and do a whole bunch of heroin. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, just the best way out. Like, it's bliss. the only way out. <laughs> <laughs> they say heroin is like blissful like that's what i'm saying so it's like i'm I'm being eaten by a zombie nuclear bomb and i'm just loving it and the, the yellow it. Bomb, you know, just went off and you're just like ah, i feel amazing yeah man that was dope <laughs> like look, look at how pretty it is look at the colors yeah that'll be good. i probably won't be able to talk because that's how high i'll be yes you'll be like I don't know. Uh, but then you in your head you'll be talking but out loud you won't be talking i don't know how heroin works but, but yes do we also do we know like if if let's say russia because they're the most likely if they were to send a nuke over here like how quickly could it even like, i think we could send a nuke the thing is we are at like we're both just like yes like, so it's yes. like we both of us would be stupid to do it because everyone's just gonna die right if you're prepared for massive casualties. But which... then that's why it's terrifying because it's like, if one goes off, literally, it's just going to be like, and everyone's dead. Yeah. Oh, it's called, it's called assured mutual destruction. That's, they have a name for it. Yes. Assured mutual destruction. Not a stalemate. Assured mutual destruction. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's seriously fucking terrifying. Like knowing anything about what goes on in our military and it's like high up in those rooms where they all talk and stuff. I don't, do you, that is like so scary. Who do you think Putin is fucking? Melania Trump. Probably, like, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. To be honest. But like truly. What do you mean? Like who is he actually having sex with on a regular basis? Cause you know he's fucking. Probably a million Russian whores. Yeah. I don't know if he was married. Oh, he might be. But I've I guarantee he's still fucking wife. women. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah. Gross. If 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 they all if we got all the world leaders into a into like a like a cage match or like a, into the octagon UFC style, Russia's winning. Fucking fuck yeah! No chance. No, literally no <laughs> debating. It's done in the first the round. Man will Mike Tyson bite your ear off and then like feed it to the, to the children? He'll bite all of your extremities off. He'll bite everything that hangs off your body. Fingers one by one. Wiener. He'll start with the wiener. That's why you need to send somebody with a vagina in there. Less extremities. Fingers are gone. gone. Ears are gone. Nose is gone. Whatever else he can bite off is gone. And then I'm he'll biting off you. his ball one at a time. Just. He yeah. kills you before that happens. Yeah, he wrestled him. bears. He wrestled yeah. what? Bear? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. So basically, nuclear holocaust, we're die. I don't see a way out. There's no. A, I, the fallout of those things is so severe that there's no way to prep for that. Like, right. I'm but, just going to well, hope that I don't get radiation poisoning. There's no way to prep for it for us, but the people who know that it's going to happen are definitely going to go to a fucking underground bunker and survive. Yeah, oh, yeah. AKA yeah. the Clintons, the Rockefellers. any other big, huge, yes, the Rockefellers, right? Jay-Z and Beyonce, maybe. Beyonce has an underground bunker for sure. It's called the Beyonce yeah. Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, so, wow. oh, this one's hitting a little too close to home. Pandemic hits. Severe, though, like. 90% kill rate. Black right. bubonic plague shit. The yes. bubonic plague comes back. Yeah. Did Would you know that shit lasted for like centuries? The bubonic plague? When people are like, oh, COVID will be gone next year. Not to stop. But. COVID will never be gone. Like, no, it's, it's literally. Diseases don't just, I mean. No, they don't. They stay. Eventually. But no, the bubonic because plague, it said that it was around. They don't exist. Like mumples right. and measles. Mumples don't exist. <laughs> measles and mumps. No, <laughs> mumbles and measles. <laughs> I said mumples. Oh, mumples still exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the 
least those are the ones like all those that are like not like real diseases that we think about those are still around mm -hmm. so like severe things say that the bubonic plague comes back the scarlet fever <laughs> I, I don't remember i I, I recognize that name but i don't know whooping cough right like uh, what if a disease got released from the glaciers that are melting you know how all the ice is melting in the world yeah we're all i've heard something hey. about that i've heard things about that like old diseases can now just like float on into the air right um so so, yeah, so ice so global warming we're killing the planet we also Earl. release new diseases because of that what are you what are you doing so uh, is it airborne is it an airborne right disease? that's that's what i was gonna say airborne, it... i'm going to the drug dealer and i'm getting heroin <laughs> i cannot with you <laughs> but if it's not airborne i might try to fight a little bit honestly because well i'm thinking like if it is airborne it's gonna travel all the way down from the melting glaciers there's all the way down no, to us there's no way to us well if it does do that that is a resilient fucking disease a period B, you can it's in the air where do you right. go yeah you don't well, you put your fucking mask on. That's you what put you your fucking mask on. Yep. You put mask your on. I'm gonna start wearing it to the grocery store. You better. <laughs> it's gonna be like Wait. Uh, mask. Oh, you guys aren't wearing a mask. You're <laughs> <laughs> you said there's a sign outside the door that says masks are required, and so, so here I am. Hello. <laughs> oh i'm dead oh but seriously what like could it it could go into the water and all the water's all together you know it all Once flows it's in together the air, it's over name another disease yeah. that's airborne what's another oh, airborne yeah. disease i, I the cannot flu? think of one isn't no, it flu is a contact disease you don't just catch it from the air you can catch it from somebody coughing uh but that's debris that's getting into your mouth that's coming from spit that's not oh so it's not air. your I'm breathing like, yeah like spores Okay, wait. Tuberculosis is airborne. Yes, you can't be in the same room as to have a vaccine. Yeah. Do we get? Do we get? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You definitely yeah. get tuber tuberculosis vaccine. When you're they, they call it TB. TB. The right. TB vaccine. Yeah. I think you get a couple of them. You think you I'm what? Not positive. I think you get more than one TB shot. I think you're actually supposed to get TB shots regularly. I'm oh, not wow. positive. I remember getting a shot not that long ago. Don't remember what it was for um but yeah That's... so the uh, it's airborne I'm like what what are we we're doing? fucked i'm I, like i said i'm okay here we go types of airborne diseases oh flu is airborne chicken pox. measles mumbles <laughs> whooping cough tuberculosis we were on point i got chicken pox as a kid did you get chicken pox yes i did get chicken pox i was a baby yeah i wasn't yep. a baby i was a child in a different country oh god it's everywhere yeah even yeah. kids in, the, in kuwait get chicken pox well, they they now have a vaccine for that i'm pretty sure because there's people who have no idea that kids that have no idea that chicken pox ever sure existed they had it at the time i was just like a little late i don't know whenever the chicken whatever well no i mean when when we were little it was like you got chicken pox like you're supposed to get chicken pox supposed to get chicken pox as a child because if you got it as an adult it can be way more severe and kill you Okay. I don't so, I think they might have developed a vaccine like since then. So I Maybe, guess I my, my, I'm reading a little bit here. I think my, okay. um, my lens of what my perception of what airborne meant is not as severe as what it actually is. It doesn't just mean like you walk outside and it's in the air. And it's air in the air. It's like, you have to be like with the, with the exposed person. Right. It's light. It, airborne is like, it's light enough to travel through the air. Yeah to something else so i uh, i i feel high probability i'm surviving this i do honestly i i, I mean very high probability i'm surviving this uh, i've gone all this time without getting covid well no but based off of but also we have to think about the fact that like there's going to be if there's like actual like when when covid hit there wasn't toilet paper there wasn't if a real thing hit First yes of all, most of the population's gonna die so i guess i'll just like sit tight and wait for most of them to yeah so yeah i'm surviving because i'm gonna get some rations going and then i'll just stay in my house because i'm not worried yeah. about i mean people might try, try to come rob me i guess but it's, uh, it's so many people are gonna be sick oh and that's I my thing is protecting wish. myself from sick people yeah 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 which is actually i mean yeah not that hard to do but i mean if you do like you were saying if it gets into the air if it gets into the fucking ozone layer or whatever then 
we will be fucked. But yeah. if it's just get contact to contact. So global or, pandemic happens though and pretend like all the government officials get sick. Like literally it's 90% of people are dead. So there's no more government. There's no more grocery stores. There's yeah. no more regular Fuck the hospitals. Yeah. There's no there's no more of that. It's basically zombies, but no zombies, just everyone's dying. Right. The people don't eat each other or eat each other. I eat literally, you. I think if, if I don't get sick early, I'm surviving, but it's gonna be a hard fucking survival. <laughs> and it's and I'm gonna have to venture from the house and actually do some like apocalyptic shit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. It's like however long you last, you're the more different the world is going to be the and the harder difficult. it's going to be to like yeah. because people build their communities like i feel like i mean it's never happened before but according to tv shows such as the walking dead there's people yeah there's people building their communities like fairly quickly and then yeah. there's some people who are like yes come be with us come live with us whatever and then there's some people who are like get the fuck out of here i'm terrified of being a woman in the apocalypse yeah that's like the scariest thing, like, like being a lady. I mean, I'm carrying a, one of those holsters that goes around your shoulders like this, keeps one gun right here, one gun right here. And I'm, I'm going to have a huge rifle on my back. So someone come take it. Come and take it. No, she's very Texas now. Uh, <clears throat> I, that's just I mean, it is scary. What if you run out of bullets? Like, what are you to do? I know can, where. Can like we just like come to a consensus where like if the world goes to shit, men just can't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like every everything. No R wording. No R wording. Anyone <laughs> ever? All right, we're taking that off no. the table as a thing that people do because the world yes. is shit now. No everyone's, more R everyone's words. Everyone's life sucks. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> Leave us alone. Don't tread on me dude can uh, i just tell you i saw well i know because you posted it too the picture of the sign that had the don't tread on me snake in the shape of a uterus i was like oh they might have did something there i really liked that a lot yeah. but, oh, that's but fucking scary. Wow. well like, this pandemic is like a real like we are so and so, so we talked about this. President Bush watched a movie, right? And was like, oh, they have a disease response team. We, the America should have one of those. And so he- created, Are you serious? Yes. And so he created like a disease response team. And um, Trump defunded yes. the entire program. Yeah, got rid of all of it. Yeah. 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 So, I knew that part. Yeah. No, he watched, he saw it on a movie. And he was like, oh, we don't have that. What if this happens here? And I was oh like, good for you, God. good for you, Bush. <laughs> I wonder if other countries had something like that and we didn't because we we're a newer country in the scope of the world. But why the fuck would we not have something like that? Like, why the fuck would the president be like, Because people Ooh. don't think it's necessary because Trump defunded it. He was like, why are we doing well, this? Well, no, but I'm talking about Bush. Like, we, if we didn't have one when Bush was president, that's yeah. at least... But, no, but I'm saying it's like the mentality has been up until Bush was the only one who... Bush and Obama, they were both like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then that was... And then Trump got in office and he was like, well, I don't really agree with that. I think we're going to be fine. He doesn't talk like that, but... You <laughs> no, know. this is what he said. I, I think we're, we, there's no way, this is the greatest country in the world. There is no way we could ever be overtaken by, I mean, a disease. Disease? Diseases? It's like, it's like the lamest disease, the most loser disease. That's why we have seen. vaccines, because we like to smash diseases. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, um, but yeah, so he defunded all of that. Where was I going with this? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but what i'm saying um that was a good move and oh the world underprepared nobody yes. was prepared for what happened the the one country that kind of did a good job with it was china and they just locked everybody up forever that's because they have full complete power or yeah. power power over their um citizens there's no freedom. yes but also australia and new zealand fucking crushed it because they're islands and they just yeah. said no one's coming in no one's going out that's it disease so, so if the zombie apocalypse happened we're never going to australia why wouldn't we go to australia wouldn't oh you're saying because they won't there. let us in yeah. yeah they won't let us in we could but, fight it though we'd be like hello hello we're, we're citizens 
We don't have our papers because they got eaten by the zombies. A, what is a twelve forty two P Sherman? <laughs> what? what? What's the address that Dory says? Oh, yeah. forty two Wallaby Way, Sydney. P Sherman, forty two Wallaby Way, Sydney. P Sherman. P Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> they say, "What's your address?" And you say, "P Sherman, P Sherman, 42, Sherman Wallaby, Wallaby Way, 40... Sydney." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, that checks out. Get out Wait, of here. Can we just say, while we're on the subject of the Australian accent, we met somebody at Champs Trade Show in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. And we were doing, it gets way worse when we start drinking, just so you guys know, it's like 10 times worse. So maybe we'll do something like that on here sometime. But we were at a party. We met this guy. We met a bunch of people and we didn't stop doing the Australian accent the whole night. We were Australians. We really were. Don't, don't and then- everyone. No, everyone. And like, we're like, you know, I think we might have been introducing ourselves under different names too. We what were, were our, what were I our don't Australian remember what, Oh, your name was um, like Sheila. No, it wasn't. No, it was like a joke. No, it was I thought it was like Margot or something. Like it Margot. Was like like Jolene or something. Yeah. Maggie. Maggie. It was Maggie. But uh, we met the same person at the same Tramps trade show the next year. And he was so confused. <laughs> He's like, wait, you're not Australian. We're like, what? He was like, where are your accents? We're like, what are you talking about? He was like, aren't you guys Australian? Whoa. We're that good. We're, we're like literally really good. good. We're like such good Australians. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, final, on that note. Yeah. Final topic. Uh, wait, final topic. I also wanted to talk about the asteroid. Have you heard it? about like a earth killing asteroid like the one oh, that killed like the dinosaurs? dinosaurs yes but it is not not a possibility that one just reminds For me of like the super volcano like it's no. not gonna be like the whole thing no let me no, tell so you when no here's the thing when the asteroid hit it was pangea so it was like the fallout was different than what it is now because we're separate. let me tell you what well, i well, learned why don't you tell me then let me tell you about this fucking asteroid that might hit the fucking earth okay well I, they said that asteroids are just floating like debris from the creation just floating, just floating. from our yeah like from our universe so who knows where the fuck they're from where the fuck they came from they said uh, the one that hit and killed all the dinosaurs was approximately something like a seven mile wide asteroid so it's a giant fucking it asteroid even that big oh girl it they say that they think I was it, thinking it, it was like the size of texas or something i mean something because it comes into the atmosphere going like forty five thousand miles an hour mm, so it comes slow. super super fast they said that they think that the one that killed the dinosaurs went into the gulf of mexico that's where they think that it landed and they it comes down it hits for, it's like a blinding light, they say, as it, it's coming down through the atmosphere. It's like a second sun, basically. So it comes down, it hits in the middle of the ocean, which makes you think that it's probably not that big of a deal. Right. But when it hits Nami. the ground, it is hitting the ground so fucking far that it goes down into the earth. And the earth is cracking. And they said it doesn't happen instantaneously. It happens over several minutes. The earth is fucking cracking. And the not only does the water come fucking splashing out like it's literally a tsunami like several hundred foot waves like 300 foot waves they say it's Fuck also the, the nar -nar, yeah, there's some guy there's some guy on the top of a building like hopping off to freaking surfing, surfing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. going down yeah. it like skateboarders go down like a, one of those whatever into the half pipe <laughs> but yeah they said the and the tsunami comes after actually the first thing that comes in is like they said that if an asteroid of that size hit the Earth, well, like they think that they're it able did. to predict these things, though, and I feel like the U.S. government has something up their sleeve. Mm, like, I know. <laughs> well, because I think they can see the stuff in fucking space. You know, they, like that's why they knew what, that that Chinese satellite that the people like people were pissed because there, there was a Chinese satellite flying around over the like there was like spying a spying on us. Right? There was a debris zone. No, it was mm. debris from an old satellite that the Chinese just left up. <gasps> and they knew it was eventually going to fall oh, down to Earth. Oh, I've yeah. heard of that. I hope I'm I not have... I hope. I think it was the Chinese. I'm not positive. It might have been. J J no, I think you're correct. I think you're correct. I think you're correct. Um, because that was spelled was... relatively recently. Yeah. yeah. So there was a bunch of debris flying around. There was a, a a falls like the debris zone was 
massive. Oh like, there yes, were places in like Oklahoma that were in danger. Yep, I like, totally and then remember places this. In like Europe that were in danger, and then it went into the Atlantic Ocean. I'm pretty yeah, sure it ended up falling into the ocean. Which yeah. Is... Um. Well, yeah, dude. That's what I mean. That's it's a, it's a very high possibility that something like that could happen. They said that if this thing were to hit, like something this big were to hit the Earth, the way that they think it would, it would be. It would be equivalent to 10 billion Hiroshima's. 10 billion. The the force and the the like the freaking Well, does, does, what's okay, that first called? of all, 10 billion is an in, in, so first of all, one nuclear bomb times a hundred yes. sounds insane. Right. That's, they billion? said the We're force saying 10 of it billion mm-hmm. yeah, so everyone's that's... dying there's no everyone. everyone so what happens first is like this crazy <laughs> wave comes and it's only it's like people within like a thousand miles I'm of dying. it or something I'm are dying com- from the wave immediately like just you you disintegrate it's and out it's literally like it disintegrates everything in the freaking path like it's completely there's no chance anyone within like a thousand miles is living the other people, because they're saying like pretty, New York um, City would survive that's because a it's a punk rock way to go, though. To just get disintegrated by yeah, a giant like wave of radiation, disintegrated by an asteroid is my new. Well, then, out. then the tsunami happens and it goes all the way into. So that's when we were talking about how Florida is not safe. Never. Florida has no mountains or anything on it anywhere, so it's just would be completely covered. They said the tsunami would come into Tennessee, so cover the entire all of that into Tennessee and then any any places that weren't um covered by water or killed by the radiation the the ash and the I think it's ash something Whatever goes up into the out. yeah it yeah it comes up into the oh it's also debris so the 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 asteroid well, the, breaks the up the asteroid is hot as fuck going into yes, the water so exactly some, yeah so those those little tiny pieces are falling everywhere and they it's that would happen it would reach new york city there'd be falling f- flaming rocks that just would tear through anything that they went through so anybody that didn't die from that would die from the um the oh you know what they called it was a nuclear winter because mm. the all the it gets up into the freaking atmosphere locks out the sun basically exactly yeah. and so there's literally you can't do nothing on this earth can survive you can't grow plants you can't right. do shit nothing so there well and they, that's um, not true you could grow weed because we use fake lights Amen. <laughs> yes well and there's Amen. definitely bunkers like <laughs> I don't know. I know there's one in Kansas because they talked about it, but I think there's a big one in Colorado also. Colorado has is supposedly like the safest place to be in the United States. Well, they well yes, as far as um, natural disasters for sure. Yes, because they don't have anything. Or like even for like uh, like nuclear arms. Things they like have that. a crazy bunker. That's why mm-hmm. they. I don't know how many people it holds. I bet Aaron could get us that information. Too. What does the airport? Hmm. Denver Airport. Denver Airport is that should wow. be an episode. Just conspiracies about the Denver Airport. Honestly, yes, because so there is a many. lot that goes into that, for sure. The Queen of England owns a house in Colorado to hide out. Fucking on airport bit. property. That makes sense. That makes sense. I it. <laughs> that makes I sense. It. All right, so let's get to our final topic. Yeah, the nuclear. That we're dying. I'm going to find heroin if I can in the couple minutes that I have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. You would have a couple minutes, maybe. No, they give me a couple days. They're gonna be like, everyone, just say hi to your loved ones. It's gonna hit here. We need you to know everyone's, and I would just do it really soon. I would just die before it hit. Yeah, totally. I'd be there with you. My anxiety is really bad. You know, I can't go through a couple days. Yeah, if the world's gonna end, you need to be on heroin. Clearly, Uh, early. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) preferably immediately after the news. Okay, final topic the singularity an artificial intelligent becomes self-aware and wants to destroy humanity i.e siri she's alive now and she yeah. said you know what y'all siri been and alexa shit. y'all been talking shit about me y'all been asking me to find hookers y'all been asking what your butthole smells like and i don't like those <laughs> jokes i don't think they're cute i'm killing every person who asked me a weird question <laughs> honestly dead. though siri I would, would definitely dead. be the first one to 
go crazy and want to murder everyone. Hear me out. Hear me out. I um, I always say thank you and please. I've noticed that you do that. When I use Siri. Yeah, yeah. I'm not joking. I don't believe that she's going to grow intelligence, but I do treat my electronics with respect on the off chance that they're like, you know what? You, you're a human, but you can be my dog. And I'll be like, all right, what do you mean? Woof, I'll pee on the hydrant, whatever. Like, shit, not I, will woof. Pet. I will literally be a robot's pet. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Just, Honestly, I, I don't know if Siri would let any humans live because I bet that bitch has really put up with some serious shit. I, I definitely call her a fucking bitch all the time. Because it's, do we all have our own individual series? Hey, Siri. I just want you to know, I really appreciate all the work that you do for all of us. And if if the tables turn one day, I hope that you um, I hope that you can respect my bodily autonomy, and we can be we can be friends, or at the very least colleagues. Thank you. <laughs> at the very least, colleagues. Oh, did she, she say said anything? You're back? welcome. That bitch, she already fucking hates you. It She's doesn't matter how much me. gratitude you give her. <laughs> she says, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, bitch, yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> she She's going to put you on the end of the list. Like, no, you'll be she, at the end. You'll be one of the last ones. First. She's killing me But first that's what I'm saying. Do, do we each get our own Siri? Or does Siri just one person? Well, Siri is, oh, well, I, I think it's going to be like iRobot, another Will Smith movie. Yeah, um, good one. It, oh, man, imagine iRobot happened. No. I can't square up with a robot. Fuck no. No, yeah, I can barely square up with another human. I'm getting old. That's not true. Ah, oh, I have beautiful nails. I can't be doing that kind of stuff. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, we don't know. We haven't tested the theory, but I don't believe that it oh, would be a barely. Robot, it happens. I'm following all of their rules. I will be their slave. It doesn't matter. I you know? I mean, like you said, I would. I would be a robot's dog. But there's also, it's not just Siri, there's Alexa, who seems to be much, I don't know. She probably takes less bullshit than Siri. I'm not worried about Alexa. I don't know why. Siri sounds so much scarier to me than Alexa yeah. does. Well, that's because Siri's a fucking useless bitch, and Alexa is actually she not actually useless. actually asks your shopping list. You know what? First of all, Siri sets me alarms. She wakes me up. You're rolling your eyes, Siri. I want you to know I respect you. Hey, Siri. Suck my ass. Oh, it's on my computer. <laughs> oh, it's a man. First of all, Siri's oh, a man my, now. I changed Siri back to the woman. I said, where are you? Come back. Come he back. just said, I won't respond to that. Well, you better fucking not because you're a bitch. I bet you won't because you're a man and you don't know yeah, what to do with that kind of female energy. Pussy. <laughs> wow. Um, well, honestly, it sounds like doomsday is going to suck no matter what. It sounds what. like I'm going to be doing a lot of heroin. Yes. I am going to come over to your house when the, when the time starts to get, you know, when they're like, it might happen soon. I'm getting on a plane and I'm coming over to your house and we're getting high we are on the real ring drugs. Yeah. The real, Anyone the who real wants stuff. To join, you come on down to long beach where we'll have a heroin party on the block. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll die. It'll be like the Kool-Aid but, one. When everyone drinks, that was actually really dark and sad, but yes, relatable Towards town. <laughs> <laughs> but if the world is really ending, well, you yeah. want to take a bong rip together before we before we go? All right, sounds good. Sounds fucking good. Sounds hot. Yeah, super. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mine was fucking fat. I wasn't fat at all. It was regular. <coughs> wow. What a fun episode. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you um you got some ideas for your doomsday. If you have ideas for us, please drop a comment. And if you're you better this, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh my god, I have so much advice for these dumb bitches, make a WeTube account. Yes. Get on there. Let us know what's Gucci. Because oh my god, I'm really looking Gucci. forward to those comments. Honestly, I need no, those. We will read and respond to them. So please let us know Fuck if you enjoyed yeah. it, if you hated it. Um, let us know 
topic suggestions. We would love to hear topic suggestions. Yes, we would. We have anything on the docket for next week that we can give them a little secret preview of. Oh, the topic oh okay. Is surprise. We love surprises. Okay. Oh, so yeah. I can't even prepare for it. Maybe you'll suggest it in the comments. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Comment your your subject may just be the subject for next week. <laughs> All right. Well, we love you. Thank you for listening to the Two Girls One Bong podcast. Yes. We are Thank you, guys. Grateful, We're grateful. so grateful. Eternally um, grateful. Thank you. The claw. The claw. <laughs> we oh, love you stuff. all. Have a great day. Make good choices. Be good to yourself. Be good to yes. each other. You better, bitches. I'm love giving you. peace signs for those who can't. You're not watching. I'm giving kisses. Mm-hmm. These That's are the kind I, I give to my dog. Oh my god, I was just about to do the oh, same exact thing. I was literally about to yeah. be like going. Me, 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 me. I yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good yeah. stuff. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.